Alright, today I have a quick set smart key generation 3. I'll start by putting my attention tool in. All the pins are dropped. Sorry, that's just a turning tool. This is my tension tool. Notice there is a very small curve on the end. That is to get between the housing and the sidebar. Okay. So what I'm doing with that is I'm coming in from the side here. I'm coming in and I'm trying to get into this gap. So once my tension tool is in that gap, then I can work on the front half, make sure I'm in that right side. I can work on the front half, just touching those and getting them set, but I don't want to overset. Touch. There. And then once I have it set, the sidebar should drop to where I can go into the second half. There. And it gets kind of rough. I can feel it go into the second half. Don't really want to mess with the front half anymore because it's already set. But I do want to check and make sure because feels like you know, pin 3 dropped. Okay, so put it back into place. And then I got pin 4. And I can pull the I can pull the tension tool out just a little bit. And then get the pin set. And once that last one sets, the tool will go all the way in. And then I just put pressure on the turning and I take the tension tool out and I get my open. So the biggest struggle for me was to get this tool correct. To get this thinned out to the right width so they would fit into this channel. And then also you want to get it so that you have just enough upturn on the tip that it, when it gets through, you can go into that second half so that you can pressure the full sidebar. And then you're putting full pressure on the sidebar and once the pin set, the sidebar will drop. So that was, that was a big struggle. And let me move my vise and we can disassemble. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the lock. And take it out of the housing. And then I can get this e clip off. There it goes. Tail piece out and set that aside, and then put my key in. Now, normally you'd want to hold on to everything. It doesn't really matter with this if I let go of the side. If I let go of the side, then um, all the key pins will, will jump up. But I mean, I have the key in here, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. But I can take the key out because. As long as I have this side set up right, once I put the key in, all these key pins will move into their position and they will go where they interact with the slider. So that's not, that's not an issue at all. So I'm going to very carefully pick this up. Now, when people say don't pick a lock that's in use, that is extremely good advice, especially in a case like this. This has a sidebar, now I'm dropping the sliders, but I need the sliders to push the sidebar up. So what happens is these sliders push the sidebar up 
And this one, when I'm taking the tool underneath, I'm coming in between, if I can get a hold of my tool correctly, I'm coming in beneath, I'm coming in between the housing and this sidebar. And I'm trying to get over this sidebar and push in. Now, I've got 10 of these uh, cores, but the first one that I was, when I was messing, I, I was trying to get it in, the, the tensioner was too thick, and I was forcing really hard, and I actually bent this side of the sidebar that comes underneath the spring and back up. And when you do that, the lock is no longer uh, any good. You, it won't turn, it, it jams up, it binds up, and everything. So um, I'm gonna, I'll put this slider here and I will put it back together in a bit. The other thing is the key pin side. So I've seen a lot of videos. Uh, most people don't mess with taking this side apart. Uh, earlier this cap came off and it, well, I had to put springs back. So I'm going to take one spring out. I'm going to take one of the key pins out. I hadn't seen this on any other videos. I hadn't seen me take any of the key pins out. But um, this pair of tweezers will hold it a little bit more visible. There we go. So there's the key pin. Um, it has this piece that interacts with the uh, with the slider to raise the uh, sliders up and down in order to properly engage the sidebar and then underneath there is the flat side that's where the key rides along and now I'm going to be curling on the carpet to find that but um, that's not a big deal I'll find it in a minute so that is the Generation 3 of the Quick Set Smart Key. Thank you.